The launch of India's first semi-cryogenic rocket scheduled for today has been delayed again. It uses commercially available aviation turbine fuel or kerosene and medical grade liquid oxygen. ISRO chief Dr. S. Somnath spoke exclusively to Vyond Siddharth MP on this and much more. Take a listen. So finally coming to um, again one aspect of launch vehicles so for almost a decade and a half or two decades india has been developing uh, the semi cryogenic engine kerosene liquid oxygen so why is this program taken a considerably longer time than other engine developments of course it's complex the most powerful engine yet so tell us more please engine developments are like that see if you look at every world over no engines were developed less than 10 years uh, in 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 the west and even 10 years was not enough 10 years it has reached some level of confidence but it took another five years to you know put it in operation it's a it is true of most of the engines of the world so we don't have to blame us uh, because it has taken time because it is not our own own engine it was an accurate technology so that it has its own challenges because accurate technology we don't get everything which we have to learn ourselves and another important question is it had new so many new materials which we are not having it was all you know coming from somewhere else it everything has to be indigenized and mastered of course it has to test from incrementally to that full level so it has taken that challenge and many a times we face failures and problems so that's why i am taking a co conscious view now we should not uh, we should develop uh, something which is with a very strong tie up of knowledge transfer including knowledge transfer uh, and including manufacturing knowledge transfer we took so much of time in the manufacturing knowledge itself it's not the technology of the engine that we know how to make it in india so this is another big issue because industrial knowledge is very limited in terms of welding, manufacturing, alloying, heat treating, coating, etc. So uh, this is a major challenge for any complex nature of such project.